Here are the formulas. These are the formulas for polarized light. Okay, the way this thing works is, uh, these, this is what it means, right? I naught is the intensity of polarized light, okay? So, so it has to be polarized, and then it has to hit uh, some other filter. So, for example, let's suppose we had light that was polarized like, like this, right? Like vertically, all, the, <laughs> all of the, the, the components of the light are totally vertically. And then we put over it a filter that's like this, right? Okay. Well, there'd be some angle between these polarizations, right? The, the light would be coming in at this angle, mm -hmm. right? And then we'd be at this angle. That's what we're talking about, the angle between the polarizer and the incident angle of polarization, right? And then this is the transmitted. This is what makes it through, okay? On these types of problems, you've got to be careful because if this is unpolarized light to begin with and you've got some intensity there, right, what makes it through is half that, right? Because... On the average, half the light is vertically polarized, right? So you get half of it makes it through. So let's say this is 100 watts per square meter. Oh, 50 comes through this thing, right? Okay, and then that 50 actually is what you put in for this. And then here you're going to get uh, basically that much left, right? Okay, so this formula is used for the angle between this filter and this filter. That's the sort of thing that you have to do, right? So then you, you just plug that in. I'll do an example of this.